All right, let's take a quick look at this question. It says the average distance to the moon is 383,734 kilometers. If the angular size of the moon was 0.53 degrees, 0 0.53 degrees, then what would the diameter of the moon be in kilometers? So this is a chance for us to practice using the small angle equation in a real astronomical application. And um, the version of the small angle equation we're going to use is, is determined because this angle theta is provided in degrees. And so because of that, we're going to use theta equals 57.3 degrees times diameter over distance. All right, that's the version of the equation that we're going to use. And in this case, we are given the angular size. We're told that theta equals 0 0.53 degrees. And we are given the distance. Um, distance equals 383,734 kilometers. So the trick here is going to be really rearranging this equation to solve for the diameter of the moon in kilometers. So let's let's do that. Um, to rearrange here, I'm going to, I guess I'll divide both sides by 57.3. So I'll have theta over 57.3. And then I would, uh, that equals diameter over distance. Okay. Now I'll just tell you on the lab quiz, I'm going to ask you a question just like this, but with a slightly different theta. And so you'll do this exact same process. Um, theta over 57.3. Now I want to solve for diameter. So I multiply both sides by distance and I end up with theta over 57.3 times distance equals diameter. Now you don't even have to rearrange this again. If you solve this uh, for on the, on the lab quiz, you can just now use this version of the equation and plug in the numbers to find what the diameter is. So we're going to plug in theta is 0. .5, so it'll be like this, 0. 0.53 degrees divided by 57.3. And then we multiply it by the distance of 383,734. Now, when I do that, I, how you could do that a lot of different ways. I generally will just type that right into Google. Um, so if I go to Google here, and I type in those values, 0 0.53, 0 0.53 divided by uh, 57.3 times 383,730, no, not point, okay, 383,734. Enter. I typed something wrong, I'm sure of it. 383,734. 34, no, I guess that's it. Okay. 3,549 kilometers. Okay. So, um, you can type that into your calculator, whatever, whatever calculator you're most comfortable with. But, um, in this case, I get 3,549. Was it? I don't even remember. Sweet. Okay. So that's how you go about solving that problem. Okay. I hope that helps.